Jen Shaw's future with the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City has finally started to come to an end, but instead of being practically cut after RHOSLC Season 3, Jen should have been fired after RHOSLC Season 2. It didn't take long for Jen to become a breakout housewife when the first season of RHOSLC premiered in 2020, especially as she quickly showed her aggressive temperament and defensive attitude with co-stars Mary Cosby, Heather Gay, Meredith Marks, Lisa Barlow, and Whitney Rose. When Jen wasn't fighting with anyone, she did charm some Bravo fans with her funny moments and glimpses into her opulent lifestyle. While Jen was already a polarizing housewife, it wasn't until RHOSLC Season 2 that viewers began to see cracks in Yen's demeanor, which infamously culminated in her brief attempt to outrun the law on camera. Although Heather and Yen's husband Sharif have publicly voiced their support, it wasn't until late 2022 that Andy Cohen finally hinted at Yen's housewife status for RHOSLC Season 4. There's virtually no chance that Jen will reprise her role for RHOSLC Season 4, but if Bravo wanted to make the right decision, they should have fired Jen before they decided to film RHOSLC Season 3, not after. Jen Shaw has been a bully since RHOSLC Season 1 while Jen has complained of being targeted online on RHOSLC Season 3. Jen has ironically bullied her co-stars since RHOSLC first started. With a red-hot temper and a fiery tongue to match, Jen, who reminds fans of Erica Jane, has always been quick to snap at the other ladies when things aren't going her way, which has led to multiple explosive confrontations between Mary, Whitney, Meredith, Lisa, and Heather. Despite having her personal life documented on camera, Jen has also been proven to be a habitual liar and manipulator throughout the years, with just one example being when Jen blatantly denied insulting Meredith's son Brooks on RHOSLC Season 2. Jen Shaw hasn't changed since her RHOSLC Season 2 arrest although Jen has proven to be a toxic housewife, none of her inappropriate actions come close to her dramatic arrest for federal wire fraud, which was partially captured in the middle of filming RHOSLC Season 2. Despite her serious charges and subsequent legal case, which Jen was sentenced for on January 6, she quickly returned to RHOSLC Season 2 to publicly discuss the incident. Even worse, Yen's behavior hardly improved, if at all, and she continued to battle anyone who had questions about her arrest or wasn't on her side like Lisa. While Jen was legally innocent until she pleaded guilty in July 2022, Bravo should have done the right thing and severed Yen's contract after RHOSLC Season 2 as they did with short-lived housewife Jenny Nguyen. Jen Shaw isn't helping her case on RHOSLC Season 3 even though Jen was supposed to get up to 14 years in prison, Bravo's refusal to fire Jen after RHOSLC Season 2 might come back to bite her. Yen's aggressive behavior has only continued throughout RHOSLC Season 3. Although Jen has asked for a reduced prison sentence, her on and off confrontation since RHOSLC Season 3 not only directly contradict her plea but can be publicly viewed by anyone, including the judge. In addition to Yen's tantrums over being uninvited from BravoCon 2022 and the RHOSLC Season 3 reunion, Jen hadn't appeared much better on camera, such as when she threw her drink on Angie Katsunavas. While the paycheck may have been nice, Jen should have immediately gotten the boot after RHOSLC Season 2. It may have helped her case as Jen was sentenced to 6.5 years in prison instead of 3. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City airs Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Bravo.